Hey, what's going on everyone? Um, Adas here. And I kind of want to just give out some motivation to anyone who is trying to start on YouTube or who, who just want to become successful on, you know, on any social media platform, primarily stuff like Twitch or YouTube or something around there, something like that. And I just want to help you guys out, give you some, give you my thoughts, I guess, give you some advice possibly and just help motivate you in general so yeah so personally i have been doing youtube since i was 11 years old which is actually a decent amount of time i've been doing youtube for technically seven years now i am 18 i mentioned this a couple times already i am seven or 18 years old i've been doing this just for like seven years and i've never given up i've tried and tried and tried and my biggest video as of right now is 600 views and is a song I uploaded onto another channel and I will put that in the description if y'all want to check out that channel out it's my music channel I upload songs on there I, I wouldn't say good songs but I think they're pretty decent for what they are so yeah and yeah I just, I just want to help you guys out real quick so my advice if you were going to start on YouTube there are three things you should probably understand one make it a hobby don't make it a career don't try and force everything just be you and just just try and try to make it a hobby not like a full-time job because i had a friend who tried to make streaming a full-time job rather than a hobby and it turns out he completely abandoned us as a friend he did not care for us and he just kind of you know pretty much just left us to do our own thing and here's the thing it's not like we didn't support him we 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 didn't mind that he streamed but he constantly lied to us just so he can get out of playing with us and stream with some other friends he didn't even know and it, it, was, it was so annoying and i was so mad but I, i'm letting that go it is what it is so yes please make streaming or, or doing youtube a hobby and if you want include your friends because i also have another channel uh, i posted a video of our channel trailer I do videos with my friends and we have tons of fun we don't abandon each other and we just we have fun with each other and that's, that's all i'm gonna say about that just make it a hobby not a career not you know if you want to be successful at something love it yeah i love it man don't don't abuse the algorithms and, and become a you know a 15 minute fame you know idiot do do something because you love it that's all I'm going to say for that. Now, my second um, tip is that if you are in, in the deeper end of YouTube where you've done it for a while and, and you want to take it up a notch, you want, you, want to, you want to really try and succeed a little more, like me, understand the algorithm. Now, from my understanding, there is a way around the algorithm. It's, it's weird, I know, but I, I'll, I'll put up a little screenshot of it my one song big butts i know funny right uh, big butts wow i put out a song and it was called big butts it blew up now obviously there's a couple reasons the thumbnail and of course the title everyone's like "Ooh, big butts and it's it's a song let me check it out and <laughs> i looked at i think the reach or like search like Pretty much, it takes the term that people were lurk were looking for, and it shows why people clicked on your video, like what they searched to find your video. And one of the searches were, like, butt clapping or, or, or something along those lines, something that weird like that. And it was just funny because it made me realize that the YouTube algorithm is actually a lot more simpler than it than it seems. It really is, and. Obviously, if you want to get your video out there more, obviously a thumbnail. If you if you don't know how to make a thumbnail, let me know and I will do a tutorial for anyone who wants to make a thumbnail because I, I want to help you all grow too because, you know, I want to grow and I want to help other smaller YouTubers grow as well. So if you yourself want to make a thumbnail and you don't know how, I can help you with that. I can give you a tutorial. If you're looking for it, I will do that. And also use hashtags that that's my second advice 
uh, you know just learn the algorithm and all that stuff and I guarantee you you might get a view or two more than your other videos if you start doing that kind of thing and my third tip is gonna have to be sometimes you gotta put your morals aside and understand it's it it is kind of a cutthroat business on YouTube you really have to be a little selfish sometimes you have to step on other people's feet to get where you want to go on YouTube I know it's messed up but five years ago YouTube was a different place it really was it it was well I mean six years ago seven years ago whatever YouTube was a different place years ago but today everyone is trying to thrive and trying to grow as a youtuber but it's kind of hard to do that when everyone's competing in the same game doing the same stuff so I could sit here and say try and be unique but there's really only so many things you could do that are unique from other people because there's millions of billions of us on YouTube every day uploading videos so that means that that unique side of things is not really that easy to complete as a task or you know so I wouldn't say try and be unique but maybe try to do something that that might be a little more special compared to other videos you know and I completely swayed away from the actual third tip so let me get back to that just try your best to put your morals aside I think what has held me back the most was me being too worried if I'm doing something you know bad or immoral when in reality there are people doing way worse things for video views or just views in general or likes or subscriptions I mean the most recent thing of all was people who were backpacking off of Technoblade's death now personally I was never a fan of Technoblade but I'm not saying I didn't have respect for him I completely you know if I would go back I would definitely try and subscribe and be a fan of his but you know that that time's up now but you know I'm not gonna sit here and make you know a big deal about Technoblade's death 25 times just so I can get views you know I if I wanted to make a video about that I would have done it but I, I don't care enough to not because I don't like Technoblade or I don't care he didn't die but because I just I don't want to look for that kind of attention I'd rather get it in a way that still kind of have to set my morals to the side but it's also still like you know it's reasonable you know so overall if you want to become a youtuber just follow those three tips you know learn the algorithm make it a hobby first before you try and make it a career and try and put your morals aside now once again the whole morals thing I'm not saying you know be be a complete douche about everything don't say or don't like be a dick to your friends because you want to do this or don't talk shit to other people because you feel like it's gonna get you somewhere on YouTube or, or whatever I don't know just be reasonable but sometimes you have to put your morals aside and if you think you know you should go the right path or whatever I don't know that it's your choice but I'm just saying sometimes it kind of you can't be the nice guy all the time that's my point so anyways all that being said um hope you guys are having a great day or night whenever you watch this and uh yeah I mean just uh try your best and you'll make it for sure you never know man yeah that next video you make might might get you there so anyways guys see y'all later